I'm Taurus. This is your reading for the first week of October. This message is for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Taurus. And of course, if you click on this message or if you're guided to this message and it's not the first week of October or even October, yet you're resonating with the message, this message is for you, slightly. As time is not a linear straight line, it is cyclical, it is cycles. We circle back to energy often. So Taurus, hope everybody is doing well. for Taurus, the messages that Taurus, that would be helpful for Taurus on their journey at this particular time. Okay, Taurus, we have the waiting game and victory and success. Well, together. So it seems as though maybe what you had been waiting on for quite some time is starting to show itself to you. You're starting to reap the benefits, the rewards of your hard work are starting to pay off, Taurus, which is a beautiful thing. There's movement. And you're feeling it. You're feeling grateful and happy about this. If this is something you're not experiencing quite yet, this will be. But I'm getting that this is a current energy for you, Taurus. Which is beautiful. Mercury is now um, out of retrograde in post-shadow. But uh, we had a little more movement. More movement in our mental capacity to understand what's going on. with, with Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, Taurus. I was feeling this trepidation or there's still something that keeps pulling you back. You're still boxed in by some fear here somewhere. And maybe it's just a matter of things finally shifting and, and working out for you. And it's been such a long time, you're not comfortable with that. You're more comfortable with the struggle, <laughs> which uh, that's kind of like a Stockholm Syndrome type thing there. Taurus, for Taurus. So trapped in fear. Okay. okay. All right, Taurus. Yeah, you're in your mind way too much, Taurus. And I think that this Mercury retrograde opposing Neptune really um, added in some extra confusion. Uh, mental conflict. So I'm going to dive a little deeper into this Taurus, but your crown chakra is being activated. So you're having a lot more um, clarity, a lot more insight to your journey and certain experiences that you've had on your journey, certain painful experiences. You may have what I call downloads. A lot of intuitives call downloads because it's like all of a sudden these flashes of insight come in through the crown. We start to see them through the mind's eye, mental pictures. We can feel them. It may even be within the dream state. Um, you are going through a big change in your life right now, Taurus. This is big. This is deep. And there is a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of memories of love that are coming up for you currently, which is, is giving you the element of hope and healing and wisdom. Gaining a lot of wisdom here on your journey, Taurus, which is beautiful because just in the past few readings earlier on in the year, Taurus was very struggling through the summertime, especially Taurus, you were struggling with a lot of these energies. So the waiting game and you finally realize, oh, you know what? I'm waiting for something to shift or change, but it's actually within me. I have to make the shift, the change, and it may even just be a perspective that is has been keeping you trapped, trapped in this fear, which then um, disables, disallows us to manifest and create and move forward. We get stuck in the mind. This is like 
I always, this card always reminds me of those, you know, those escape rooms people like uh, go to for fun <laughs> and you get locked into this room and then there's all with like other people. I don't know anybody that's done it themselves, but maybe. Um, and there's different clues and puzzles that you have to put together to figure out how to get yourself out of the escape room. And I feel like, Taurus, you've been stuck, locked in your escape room of your mind for a while, for a, maybe a little too long for your comfort here. <laughs> Let's keep going now. Very big transformation, very big change that um, well, we're all going through, but Taurus, this is really trying to help you feel more at ease and comfortable with diversity, with change, with things actually working in your favor, which I don't think you're used to right now, Taurus. It actually is, is adding a little extra element of fear in this reading, which is interesting. Maybe you're thinking it's too good to be true on the floor. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, it's exactly what I was thinking. So you either may be thinking it's too good to be true. The other shoe is going to drop eventually. Something is about to happen because you, you keep trying to predict painful experiences that you had in the past, things that came in and like took stuff away from you or just really messed with your energy. And that's what you just, you keep thinking that you're envisioning this in your mind's eye, that your intuition is picking up on like something bad's going to happen. This is too good to be true. I got to like, uh, and you're, you're grasping, you're holding on way too tight. Know that this is a victory, success, Taurus, just ease into it, relax. Enjoy this part of the journey. It's actually coming together for you. <laughs> I see the Taurus is having a really tough time with that. You're actually creating more, excuse me, stories in your mind about how this could all go wrong. That's a good lesson for you right there, Taurus, of how you actually can manifest or create things going wrong for you <laughs> based off of your past experiences let's let's go into the waiting game okay yeah so the way you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to shift something to change now maybe you already knew you were waiting for yourself but you just weren't feeling quite ready yet finally an energy came in and and gave you your power back gave you your energy back you took your energy back you took charge Knight of Wands, you took charge finally of your life and decided I'm no longer going to just sit around and wait for energy to be right. I'm going to actually play in this energy myself. I'm going to jump in. It's like playing double dutch or jump rope. You wait for the moment to actually jump in and get into the groove and start to, you know, move with the ropes. That's a good analogy. <laughs> use that more often Taurus what's this trapped in fear about mm -hmm. so Taurus you are you're just kind of waiting again too good to be true you might be sitting around kind of complaining about certain things you know the universe is like play with me here here's a cup Here's a cup to, and you're just like, no, it doesn't feel right. I'm over it. I'm not playing anymore. And, and this is, <laughs> this is your mind. It keeps you trapped. It keeps you stuck. And the universe is like, no, it's okay. It's safe. It's safe to play. Come play with me. And you're just like, nope, I've been hurt. I've been duped. I've been, I'm not playing with you <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Let loosen up, lighten up, Taurus. That is definitely a strong message for you. Have fun with this. Oh, yeah, this is why. In your past, Taurus, you had had this energy before where it's like, yeah, screw this. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make 
my life happen. I'm going to create my best life. And you have. Yet there are certain times where you maybe chose um, a certain, like in these cups, you have all these different options. This might look really nice, but this one's got a snake coming out of it, you know? So this could be um, past relationships, past opportunities. And, um, you know, you are still kind of afraid that maybe you're making the wrong choice or you've made the wrong choice or you didn't use full discernment or you're not feeling it 100%. Whatever this is, this is past energy that comes back to haunt you. Like, did I make the right choice? Was I in the right energy when I made this choice? Am I going to be safe? Am I going to be okay? <sighs> breathe, Taurus, breathe. It's all okay. It is all okay. That's the past. You got to leave your past in the past. Can't carry it with you. I mean, you can carry it with you, but you're just going to keep repeating the same things over and over again until you drop that. Drop that story. Drop that act. Drop this fear. Right? Because it's the world. Cycles are shifting. Things are moving. Energy is shifting fast, Taurus. Very fast. And you're getting a lot of insight. You're getting a lot of gifts. Um, this world card speaks very strongly to me of integrating. Go slow. One step at a time. Integrating. Integrate all of the new knowledge. All of the new tools. All of the new ways that you have changed out of the waiting game into your daily practice your daily practice so that you're not stuck in old energy. You're not trapped in the mind. This does take work on your part, Taurus, to put the steps into play, uh, practices, um, whatever works for you. As soon as you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do? It's the first thing that you think of. That is something that if it's not based on getting your energy and your mood in the best place it can be for that day if it's anything but that you want to shut that down and try to start your practice every single day that you wake up is dedicated to you living your best life that day regardless of what comes your way it's all mindset so again reflect back on the good memories that you have in life at the the um amazing things that you've experienced and achieved in, in your life. This will help you. So Taurus, I'm going to take this over into the extended. If you want to keep going with us with this reading into the extended, that information is in the description box below for my Patreon channel page. Um, but if this is where you leave us, I will pull an advice card for you. And if you like this video, Taurus, please click the like button. It really helps with the messages circulating, helps with the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Same thing, helps us content creators keep going. It's a nice energetic exchange. And if you want to join me over on Patreon, that information is below. It is $5 a month membership, and you get unlimited extended readings as much as well as other content that I am guided to upload and so I feel like that is a great uh, benefit and a very very fair price okay advice for Taurus please boy there's a lot of different messages that want to come out to you Taurus What's the right one that Taurus needs right now? Aha. Uh -huh. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Oh, that speaks volumes here, Taurus. You're afraid. You're afraid of failing again, which it's not. They weren't even failures or mistakes. They're discoveries. This is how we learn. So Taurus, that is the message for you. Understand that there are no mistakes. These are all discoveries. And don't define yourself by your past mistakes or failures that your mind is telling you. These are, this is how we learn and grow.
So that's the message for you, Taurus. If you want to follow us over onto Patreon, that information is in the description box below. And if this is where you leave off, have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care.